This video is part one of a mega compilation of all my videos I've made in 2023. Hope you enjoy. People of the female gender, such an interesting species, but what we'll focus on today is the types of females in school. You know, we have the generic ones like the hot Cheeto girls, the goth ones, the copy and paste Latinas, and the school dots. Then you have more of the underground ones like the seven out of tens, the bookworms, the weebs, and the anime enjoyers. Yes, the weebs and the anime enjoyers are different, but let's just start with the hot Cheeto girls. The Hot Cheeto build consists of the newest iPhone their daddy bought for them, a crop top, hoop earrings from Sheen, curls, a messy bun or straight hair, ripped jeans, and of course some kind of hot chip, like could be Takis, Cheetos, or really anything with spice. You'll usually find these girls in groups with other Hot Cheeto girls, either in the hallway skipping class or in the back of class typically being loud and obnoxious as hell. Like dog, it's 7.20 in the morning, how are you not tired? But uh, overall, if you avoid them, they aren't that bad. But God forbid you have first period with one of them. But uh, overall, I give them a solid 5 out of 10 on the tolerance scale. Now with the goth ones, there's two different groups. The first group is the bad ones that everybody wants to get with secretly or openly. Their build consists of a wolf cut, a black oversized hoodie with usually a graphic tee under, some busted ass Converse or Nike blazers, usually around 4'11 to 5'6" and black lipstick. This group is pretty chill if you get to know them. They usually listen to shit like Mac DeMarco, TV Girl, and Rex Orange County. You could usually find them in small circles of two to four or just by themselves. They usually always have AirPods in and are always sleeping during class. But overall, I'll give them like a solid 8.7 out of 10 on a Scott on the tolerance scale. Scale. Now for the other group of golf girls, I like to call them the suburb rejects. Because this type is usually just a basic white girl trying to be quote unquote different. But their build consists of usually being a little hefty, if you know what I mean. Most of them have some weird ass cuts. Like once I saw a motherfucker built like a Detroit Lion linebacker with a damn rat tail in the head. Who let you go outside like that, ma'am? This group is usually like the fake feminist too. Like if you ask them one question like can i have a tissue they'll say something like no i'm an independent woman you're being misogynistic to me right now dog i just want to blow my nose and sit now just hand me the damn tissues emily and just because of emily i give these individuals a solid two out of ten on my tolerance scale hate you emily you're a bum no. for the copy and paste latinas i'm pretty sure everybody knows about them so there's really no need to cover them so I also give them like a solid 5 out of 10 for tolerance. They don't really be doing nothing. They just kind of NPCs for a. The gosh darn school dots. Where do I even start with this? Their build consists of some tight ripped jeans, some busted Adidas or Vans, short acrylic nails, a preposterous snap score, streaks that's been going on for longer than Duke Dennis's lifetime, and that small backpack that can barely hold a single book in it. These are the type of people with the most basic name like Haley or some. And they be given the gawk gawk mech twist 7000 under a staircase. When they're supposed to be in the, in algebra class learning about the Pythagorean theorem or something. I swear one time I was going to the bathroom just to get out of English class. Because let's be honest who's trying to be in English. And I turned the corner to go to the staircase and see a whole line. People were really waiting in line and turning in line like it was GameStop in 2012 just for some top. But uh, overall, this group is pretty aight. You know, maybe let some of y'all weirdos hit. So I get them a solid 6 out of 10 on my tolerance list. You're black. Or I'm going to group the 7 out of 10s and the bookworms together because they're usually just mixed in one category. So I'll just mix them together. These be the people that always have the glasses on. They're always kind of attractive. They're never really mid or ugly. They're mad chill, mad shy until you get to know them and always reading something no matter the time or place. All in all, if you're looking to date somebody at school but don't know nobody in your business, this is a good pick for that. So I'll give them a solid 9 out of 10 on the tolerance scale. You get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Now for the weebs. Their build includes an anime hoodie. Not the cool ones. I mean the ones that literally just have a picture of the anime character all over. Some thigh highs, a skirt, and some sort of dyed hair. 
could be rainbow, could be blue, could be red, any sort of hair. It's always dyed. And they're also a bit hefty, like the other group. If you know what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get canceled. They're usually the cringe ones that you always see in the cringe compilation saying outdated shit like Baca or only in Ohio. And they're just mad annoying in general. So I give them a solid one out of ten on tolerance scale. Because let's be honest, nobody's trying to hit that at 7.20 in the morning. <laughs> Now, the anime enjoyers are basically just the NPC type, except they enjoy watching anime in their free time. They won't bring it up unless you mention it first, and then they'll talk to you about it. But they're usually just uh, just what seems like average girls, or they could be mad attractive, but they just watch anime without anyone really knowing overall. Great people. It's like a solid 9.2 out of 10 on Tolerance Scroll. Cause they don't really be doing nothing. They're pretty much just background characters, but they just watch anime and that's about it. All right, oh, that's about it. If you weren't included in this list, you're going to be in the next part. So don't worry, you're going to be included. You got you know, attention seeking monkey. So uh, don't get also don't get butt hurt over this. It's just a stupid YouTube video, so don't take it to heart. And I guess like and subscribe if you wanna. I gotta go. If you wanna like and subscribe, help me reach 10k. But yeah, I gotta go. So bye. Wasp. The absolute imagery of hell spawn on the earth. Now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong at all. Bees? Bees are cool. As long as they like stay away from me. I'm cool with bees, but wasp? It's like they have a hate level scouter, dog. Like some some Dragon Ball type shit, bro. They hate me. I hate them. Hate them. Personally, wasp. All of you should kill yourselves. You know those sayings like, "Oh, if you don't go near a wasp, it'll leave you alone." Yeah, the person who came up with that saying. I hope you rot in hell for deceiving all of us, my nigga. Like, just a few days ago, I was chilling in my room when I hear a buzz by my door, which is far from where I was, which was far from where I was. I look over and I saw the biggest goddamn wasp in my entire lifetime. Like, bro, bro looked like he could have been a linebacker for the 49ers for real. And I was petrified because, like, only three things on this earth could put fear in my heart. One. Is forgetting how to forgetting to throw out the chicken when mom tell you to. Two is heights. And three, a big black wasp named Tyrese that look like he can afford me but just by looking at his damn eyeballs. He looked like he ain't noticed me. So I just went back to leaving bro alone and like thirteen seconds later after I turn around, I turn and see him bum rushing me, just straight hauling it towards me, like bro, bro was out for vengeance in Gotham City for real, so me being me, me being a little absolute smart little negro that I am, I bolted it straight to the door, hey, I, you buggy, I bolted it straight to the door and I ran out the front door and I ended up three blocks down, till I thought that I wasn't being chased by no goddamn big black wasp named Tyrese. And like, you may think I'm exaggerating all this, but I'm being so for real right now. I thought the close was clear. So I started walking back, you know, just to see. And like, you know what I'm saying? I Just to see if everything was clear. And I, I see big bro pull up with, with like four of his little wasp underlings. Because I already know he a mob boss. So I immediately took it back to the crib and made it back safely because I'm not finna get jumped by no wasp. I ain't even, I ain't even do nothing to little bro. You just decided to ruin my day for real. But uh, yeah, that was an example too of why I hate these hell spawns. We don't need them on this earth. Bees. We love bees. They pollinate and let flowers have little light skinned babies and shit. And like, we all like honey, right? We all love honey. Unless you're, you know, weird. But they just overall help us a lot with the environment and shit like that. But what the hell do wasps help us with, dog? 
I haven't seen a wasp make a lick of honey a day in my life. And then the motherfuckers don't even pollinate a lot for real. I'm convinced bro was a failed experiment to try and combine bee and mosquito DNA. Cause like, ain't no way you just a bee with vengeance. Enough said. Enough said for example too. Enough said. Like, they, they don't do anything. Example three for real. Are we gay? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I've never been stung by a wasp or a bee for that matter. But we all know Coyote Peterson, right? Like, little small white dude, he bald and be, you know what I'm saying? He crazy as hell. Well, that crazy son bitch let a demon spawn named the Tarantula Hawk Wasp sting him. Think about that for a second. Tarantula Hawk Wasp. Those three words should not be put in a sentence nowhere near each other. Now with a name like that, it should already set some in your mind off, gang. But the crazy thing is, the first time it stung, bro, I thought it was over. I thought he was going to say stop because bro was screaming for his life. But come to find out, these goddamn wasps don't die when they sting like bees. These motherfuckers got an unlimited sting. How is that fair, dog? Like, I can't even swim for real. And these motherfuckers get a buffs? They get buffs? This, this is unfair. Now, I know how y'all Apex motherfuckers be feeling. And then their stingers are huge. Like, them things like three to four inches long. Imagine that going in your arm. Pause. But, like, I swear, if I ever come across one of these tarantula hawk wasp, I'm shooting it. Immediately. No words. I don't care if it, it could be endangered, extinct. I don't care. I could care less. If it try to attack me, it's dead. It's getting shot. I'm letting off the entire clip in that mug. You're bugging. And uh, on to the conclusion. To conclude, I fucking hate boss. I just hate wasp. And if I see one of y'all motherfuckers, it's on sight. It's cool. The inevitable day we all dread, unless you're just a straight background character. But some of you have already had your first day and restarted the cycle. Fortunately for me, I don't start till the 16th. For some, it's your last school year until you're off to college. For some, it's your last semester ever. Which, good luck to you, buddy. But for others, it's their start of their high school journey. And if you're just starting middle school, then you don't exist. I refuse to believe so. But since it's that time of the month, we'll deep dive into the phenomenon known as the first day of school. Guys, my dad is retarded, but he's not that retarded. Hey, Stan, have you seen my... Oh, my God, it's Gordon... As always, if you enjoyed this video, a like, comment, share, and the biggest of them all, a subscribe is always appreciated. The growth these past two months has been just amazing and I appreciate that with all my heart. I'm actually enjoying the stuff that I do and my mental health is improving thanks to you guys. So I really do love you all from the bottom of my heart. I read all my comments so feedback or even just a hi will be recognized and I won't waste your time. Let's just start. Looking for your classes. Now for some people, this isn't a problem because they actually went to orientation or you're just familiar with the school. But for those of us who aren't as lucky, trying to find your classes has to be the most awkward thing on the first day. You have two routes you can take when searching for your classes. Route one, ask somebody nearby or a teacher or either get the most vague, confusing, forgetful directions of your life or get a private escort with an awkward talk with a random person you don't know. Or route two, thug it out and become prime Dora the Explorer. You just gonna have to wander around the halls like you're searching for the one piece and pray to God that you find your class. If you're late, it doesn't really matter unless your school is majority Caucasian, then you can't be helped. To be fair, I have to deal with this problem as well, so we can suffer together. But once you've arrived to your destination, the awkward phase of finding a seat that isn't taken or God forbid you have assigned seats, at that point, just leave though, bro. But if somebody tells you to get out of the seat that you're sitting in and they're being nice, just get out their damn seat and get another one. But if they're being a dick, either beat they ass, yes on the first day, or just sit there and don't do shit. Looking for your classes could either be the easiest part of the day or a nightmare you better avoid by memorizing your classes after the first day. There must have been an angel by my side. Stink people. 
aka the people who have first period PE with zero deodorants, just ask body spray and prayers. Dog, if you know you stink, why are you not trying to hide it or at least bare minimum buy some damn old spice? If you have class with any of the stink people, then the best solution to fix this is to just buy them some damn deodorant and put it in their backpack and hope they use it. Be their guardian angel. I don't even want to talk about this because it's making me dread the first day even more. So, moving on. Man, you think about my shit? You must not know we talking. My dog got the hands for real. Mike Dawson. Man, I know that ain't who I think it is. Man, what's up, little baby man? Focus shit. Shout out my little Yo, my tripping is he walking like he trying to scare me or something. Hey, yo, spit it up, my man. If I'm next to try to move Damn, Takaji came a long way. You ain't even got to trust the water to drink it now. Wait, that don't even make sense. Hey, yo. Well, now that's going from Panda. I'm still getting bullied in the lane. I'm sitting over here like, oh, he ain't jiggy with it. Wait, hey. Hey, I don't want to be that guy, but what type of berries was he eating? How was he climbing trees? Should charge him back for lead? Honestly, bro, I should have known better. Like, who counts a guard dog on Facebook Marketplace? Look at him. He's not guarding shit. Bro, in my house looks like a damn fire station. This shit ain't gonna work. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're like 15 dollars, you need a job. Damn, bro, you that scared? You embarrass yourself in front of the ops. My house is back at the knocks. She can charge me back a lot. Yeah, go, go, get his ass. He fucking, he must not know you. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> In the hallways, usually in the morning or after your lunch, you'll see the popular couple having their 47th breakup. The popular couple arguing and leaving each other in the hallway is a common occurrence on the first day, so don't pay it too much mind. The school bathroom. Dog. Why are the fiends in the bathroom hotboxing it at 7 a.m. on a Wednesday morning? I gotta piss. So, y'all gotta go do that shit in some place nobody cares about. Like the locker room. And why on the first day is every toilet already filled to the brim with those brown papers? I swear there's a cult of people whose sole purpose in the school is to demolish the school's plumbing system. Niggas really out here thinking that they the phantom troop. Oh my fucking god! To keep this video short and sweet, we have the last topic we'll cover today. The school gyats. Sorry to say, ladies, but if you wear the forbiddens and expect not to hear the word gyat screamed at 360 decibels, then you're delusional. But don't get your hopes up, because that one saying it is most likely some 5'4 cooked guy named Caleb. Squirting contest! Let's see who can squirt the farthest! I'm sorry if this video is too short. I have a lot going on right now because of school, but I wanted to get a video out to you guys. I love and appreciate you all. Thanks for all the tremendous support. And as always, bye. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. Now there's only a few things on this earth that I would consider size higher. And Mr. Alpha Pookie is at the top of the list. The content he produces on the godforsaken app known as TikTok has been stained into my memory. And I'm a D1 hater, so if I have to experience this, so will y'all. If you like this video at any point, a like or a sub is very appreciated. Let's just begin into this madness. Now, I was first exposed to the virus known as Alpha Pookie a few months back when he made these face paint like race and gender equality videos, which I'm sure some of you have seen before. Wow, Alpha Pookie. I gotta hand it to you. I didn't expect you to have realized such a big issue. You're right. Racism is indeed low-key bad. The very awkward stare at the end of this video made me feel like I was being touched inappropriately in so many ways. But we have to give credit where credit is due. He isn't wrong. Oh wow, what a noble man standing up for gender equality like that. Oh, what's this? 6-4 by the way. Hmm, let's check his Instagram real quick. Oh wow, this man, this man right here needs to be put in the NBA immediately. Now after the face paint saga, our favorite creator Mr. Pookie went into the public nuisance topic, which by itself should earn him jail time. If you don't cheat on me, there's two things you can't get back from me. My trust after it's lost, and the fuck I gave about you. Fuck is you talking about? Wow there Mr. Pookie. 
such an inspirational man and this guy who i am assuming you are in a romantic entanglement with truly just great execution there ah! really ah! what the frick i literally love making minimum wage employees lives harder Out, are you recording me stop Out, yo why are you recording me cut the video well at least he knows what he's doing is an asshole move like actually creators and tiktokers that their content is just ruining people who are getting paid minimum wage days for a couple thousand views are terrible people there's a difference to creators like deadrian harding and loaf because they're just fucking around not really causing harm but when we have people going into walmart harassing shoppers screaming in their ears or worse going up to shoppers and insulting them after you started harassing them and later smashing a tv for attention just crazy enough yapping let's continue now mr pookie as of a few months ago i guess has been on a self-searching journey because at one point he's a white man then the next a black king then a beautiful black queen which kudos to him it they fuck it kudos to we Crackers holla at me when they sober on parole. Hmm, not much to say about that one right there. Let's just move on. Once you go black, you never go back. Whoa there, Mr. Pookie. I thought you were a white man a few seconds ago. You're starting to confuse me, but I'll trust your word a white person and you're making fun of another white person for doing something like ignorant where's the distance you're literally benefiting off of like racism you don't see a problem with that bro what are you talking about i'm literally a beautiful black queen i'm over here stroking my dick I got okay that's it mr pookie you fooled me for too long which one is it are you a very hurt white man a handsome pretty boy black king or a girly pop black woman make up your mind moving from his little identity crisis mr pookie has found some confidence in himself because he started posting the best content known to man thirst traps whoa there mr pookie don't let the cops get a view of this video they'll charge you with indecent exposure wait wouldn't it be like the slinging leg charge because he technically paid for the gas <clears throat> the fact that he licked the gas pump has me questioning both how he's still alive and if our favorite creator mr pookie may be a kryptonian Don't mess with this guy in dodgeball, guys. He'll mess you up. I swear one time I saw him transform into Kick Batowski and take out an entire gang of orphans with just one dodgeball. What's this? Oh. Okay, okay. Wow, really? Alright, I'll notify everyone. <clears throat> everyone, I've just received word that our favorite creator, Alpha Pookie was once an Alpha Sigma protector of everyone good guy superhero. Why do straight guys get so bloody pressed when a gay guy twerks on him? Like bro, just enjoy the ride. A Lamborghini with high mileage will always drive faster than a Bentley. Remember that. Way to stand up for the right of any and every gay guy to twerk on a straight male and a straight guy to have no problems about it. <sighs> Such a great guy. Guys think it's okay to cat call girls. Like bro, you cat call my girl and I will touch you in the place where the sun doesn't shine. I knew it. He did touch me inappropriately earlier. Now if you thought this couldn't get any worse, let me introduce you to the more satire side of Alpha Pookie. Alright, uh... I guess Mr. Pookie has a thing for Phantom. Interesting. Damn! 
Damn. Okay, it seems as if this isn't a mutual feeling for Phantom, and he is being forced into doing these acts as a way of obtaining a meal for the day. Such a tragic incident. You guys know the Phantom Tax meme? What if we mixed it with the Skibbity Toilet meme and applied it every time we need to go to the bathroom? Hear me out. So whenever we go number two and we flush the toilet, Skibbity Toilet is basically taxing our poop. <laughs> so from now on, instead of saying, can I go to the bathroom? We say, can I get taxed by Skibbity? <laughs> I have no words. This food is good. Thank you for bringing me here. It is good, but imagine if somebody taxed it. A tax? Phantom tax! <laughs> um, what the fuck are you doing right now? I'm literally playing Royal Match and I'm on level 55. Um, okay. Anyways, you want to go back to my place and have some fun? Wait, are you whizzing me up right now? Hold on, let me ask my chat. Chat, is this W is or Skibbity Wiz? Again with the Phantom Obsession. It now seems as if Mr. Pookie is going through another identity crisis. And he now believes that him, Mr. Pookie, is Phantom. <laughs> I genuinely have no clue what that video was. As someone who doesn't have ADHD, I am very confused. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. Yeah, I'm not listening to this nigga yap for two minutes. Y'all got it. I'ma dip out. Like and sub if you want. I love you all. And as always, bye. If you're over the age of 11, I'm pretty sure you haven't heard the name Donnie Bogues. But to sum his channel up, it's a fake Minecraft trolling channel. And his content is something so news anchor pluto is going to ruin his sanity to bring you guys the best form of entertainment ever created reacting to cringe sub and like if you want without further ado let's just begin all right the video will be indulging in today mr donnie has named it how i corrupted my friend's hardcore world in minecraft now i wonder what this video can be about let's just see this video, I'm gonna spawn a wandering trader. Except this time, all these trades are gonna be insane. You want a nuke? That'll be wonder, please. You want a tank? That'll be wonder, please. You want a picture of Donnie Bo's cheeks? That'll be wonder. <laughs> okay, that's not for sale. Okay, so not even a minute in, and he's promoting his OnlyFans. Awesome. Show the world and ask me to restore the backup. I'm gonna show them this video. How will they react when they find out that their world is gone? Find out now. Sit back, grab yourself some dog ice cream. Let's do this. As you can see, I've downloaded this mod that lets me see everyone, even if they're through the walls anyway. As long as they're on the map, I can see them. All right, our house is in lockdown mode, people. Dude, there are so many people on the server right now. This is... I'm on the lookout. By the end of this video, everything here is going to be gone. Rubble. Destruction. Linux over here in his house. What is happening with this house right now? Yo, I thought you could reset it. Why is it not reset? And then look at that. We got Kipley up there. Who knows what these people are up to, man? Look at him. He's so sus. I already hate this girl. What's her name? Like, Kipley? Flip you, Kipley. Because using the word sus unironically in 2023 deserves jail time. I think that's Kipley. Yeah, it's Kipley. She was shifting. Oh, 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 he's seen us. Oh, God. Oh, that was awkward. Oh. See, she's sus too. I was going to wait for more people to join, but I think it's a perfect time right now. This command, we're going to have to give Donnie Boobs command block one. There we go. We're going to have to set it in the middle of the town. I'm just, I'm keeping my eyes peeled constantly for Donnie. I need a better vantage point though. And then we change the command block out. And we're going to summon a wandering trader. Let me get a button ready. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is better up here. I can see everything I need to see from up here. Just put this here, cover it up. And now this wandering trader has the most insane trades ever. Oh God, most useless guy in the game. Hey, what's up, bro? One dirt for a catapult. One dirt for a trebuchet. Mortar. Battering ram. Cannibals. Cobblestone gunpowder. I swear, if you don't give me like a nice piece of coral or something, you're gonna die, buddy. Oh, oh God. What is that that I see over there? Is that Donnie? What? Cannonball. Battering ram. Is that Kipley talking to Donnie? Kipley seen it. Mortar. Trebuchet. And catapult. What on earth? Yo, Kip. What you doing over there? Oh, for Dirt? These two, oh, I don't know where these guys are. I'll double, double it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. What's she doing over there? She's not immediately killing it. That's a bad sign. Just about 
to kill a wandering traitor. Ha ha ha. She's lying. Come with me. Yeah, that's it's Donnie. It's Donnie. The wandering traitor is invulnerable. <laughs> Come into my thing. I don't have a lead. I don't have anything. Oh, yeah. Look at her. What's she doing? Hey! Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? What's she doing? I can't open this if she's trading with him. Oh, they, they can't open this now. Get out! What'd she give me far enough away? Hey, Reese came over. Okay, you know what? You can, you can purchase it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Not a word, buddy. Trebuchet, cannonball, mortar. What a deal. There's a wandering traitor. That Whoa there. Flashbang warning next time. Damn near blinding me with that reflective ass forehead. What a deal. Wait, I need more dirt. What did he buy? I bought the cannonball. I need more dirt. Oh, all that insult to injury. Maybe I'll just use some mortar? All that insult to injury. She's got dirt on the top of her house, right? Linux is always on this server, and his house never changes. This guy just does side quests. So make your house bell. Really? <laughs> is that necessary? Stop taking my property, man. No, 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 no. Really? What are they saying really about? Where are they? No. <laughs> I need stuff. You want rage? You know what? That's fine, man. That's fine. Maybe I can steal Rage's emeralds. She tried to hide it from me. I need cannonballs. No, I get it. I get it, man. 64 cannonballs. Wait, they only stacked to 16, but you can buy 64. Trebuchet, do you fire cannonballs out of these? I need to try everything. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna set something up over here. <clears throat> catapult. What's the difference between the catapult and the trebuchet? The world may never know. Battering ram? Yes, please. Yeah, please go on cannon! Okay, what should we try first? So this is villager one. Okay, there are four villages. How do I face this correct way? This one... Do what did I just... It's faced the wrong way. Give me that back. What just happened? Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Cannonball, 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 cannonball. Don't point something about how, how does what? What is that? Villager number four. Anything he trades, okay, will destroy everything about this one. I'm pulling it back. I'm cranking it back. Did she break her own house to trade the What? What's happening right now? Yeah, Kipley. In two to five minutes, you're going to be real sorry that you pointed that cannon at my house. I need gunpowder. Where is he? What is that? How do I load it? Does it load when it gets all the way back? Is that a catapult? What's it doing? How do I, how do I, how does one load this? I need gunpowder. Thank you. What's happening? What? And now she's got gunpowder. Right, quickly, quickly before rage. We're five minutes in and the middle-aged man and Miss Sus is starting a war already. I gotta say, Mr. Bobes, you sure know how to keep the pace up in your videos. I gotta take notes. Something. I need to check my keybinds. How does one load this? Why would you use it? <laughs> now that they have the OP items, it didn't take them long to start destroying their own world. Remember, this whole time they think they have a backup. Ah! What the yo? Medieval siege, open inventory, use machine. What's going on? Why do you even remember the keybind? What is wrong with you? Hey, Linux. Kipley. What's up, bro? What in the world is wrong with these people? Fire! <laughs> Load it up. Uh, well, this wall is finished. Rage. Why is it turning? What? Where did it throw it? What is he throwing? What? Did I just launch? Oh, do I aim with this? What is happening? How'd they get that? Why is it? It's not. Is it gonna aim over here now? This thing takes. This thing is insufferably long to crank up. I'm just glad Liger isn't online. This whole world would have been finished if Liger was online right now. <laughs> Okay, aim it. It's aiming over here. That's how it works. I figured it out. Reload. I would do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Quickly. He doesn't know how anyone got it. The train is right there, Linux. I need another two to five minutes. Kipley's house is so done for. He does not have dumb trades like that. What, the, what is this? Fire! No, no. Go over here. Go over here thing. Yes, Linux. Welcome to the, the chaos. Welcome to the armada. What is that? A battering ram for dirt? You right click to aim it. That's so annoying. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that. Give me the dirt. So that's what they were trading. That's why they can make those trades so quickly. Okay, hold on. You know what? Think, uh... Hey, get away, Kipley. The trajectory has been calculated properly. We're just... Target acquired. That is a grown-ass man going... Uh, target acquired in a Minecraft world. Not knocking Minecraft or anything. In fact, I'm probably playing it while you're watching this video. How, would you, how are you supposed to aim that catapult? Catapult is better. This is better. Yo, what is he doing over there? Is he doing the same thing to my house, huh? Oh, yeah, come on. Here we go. Put the cannonballs in. Catapult. Why did she do this? We're going to aim it right here. Here we go. Fire. What? Okay. No, you. Listen, I can blow up your door. You can't blow up mine, buddy. What are you doing? No. No offense to this lady, but her voice is really annoying. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What does this thing mean? No ammo. Oh, Kipley knows. I'm getting out. Ooh, do, 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 do. He's doing it to her house. You leave my cannonballs. No! Ah! Kipley! Stop moving. I can't aim. I can't aim. I can't. <laughs> Turn faster. This thing is so slow. Ah! Oh, you throw blocks. You throw blocks. Oh, my God. I'm just hitting the carrots right now, Kipley. Relax. 
Yeah. Her house is done for. She's trying to kill me. Oh my god! Oh yeah, the catapult is where it's at. Stop! They're shooting cannons at each other. Is she doing damage to her own thing? The catapults, I'm destroying her house with cobblestone. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ow. No, whoa. Take that. It's okay. You've done your job, Mr. Villager. I think Rage is doing all that damage. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's Rage. <laughs> it's about time we spawn another one. You know what? You guys want to play this game, huh? No more Villager. Ah. But... Oh, where's Liger? Oh, Liger's here. Oh, no. Why is Liger here? Here he is. Hello, my friend. Can you um, can you move, my friend, please? No, here she comes. You know what? Yep. Here she comes. She's defeated it. <laughs> this time, this one. Look what he trades. Slime TNT. Big Chungus TNT. Big Chungus TNT. Let me do a quick Google search real quick. How old is Donnie Boat? Hmm. 29. Well, okay. What are you guys doing, huh? Hey! Right now, they're laughing, guys. They're having fun. They're playing games. Does he think there's a backup? This is Kimberly's new house. Ray just been sitting up here destroying houses. <laughs> I'm done. Sub if you want. I've just went blind, so I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to edit this video. I love you all, and as always, bye. 2000 to 2013. Arguably the golden years of the 2000s and the 2010s. Not only for music, fun, or childhood memories, but most importantly, for entertainment. The 2000s and early 2010s were the best years for entertainment with bangers from both Nickelodeon and Disney and Cubo. I know some of y'all didn't have Cubo and probably had something else. But I can't remember his name. But if you didn't have cable back then, you either had Cubo or some other program like Cubo. Before we start with the early childhood cartoons, why don't you like and sub only if you want to? And I appreciate everyone with noties on. But let's just start. Now, just know this is basically based off my childhood. But our childhood sounds better in the title. And what you may not know is I'm somewhat of a young buck. Like, I mean, I'm still in high school. So uh, if something's not on here, it either isn't good in my opinion or i just haven't seen it our childhood had some bangers when we were like three to seven like team umizumi team umizumi was the best show on nick jr hands down bot was teaching me how to be an absolute scholar in math most of y'all probably fell in math because y'all didn't pay attention to that team umizumi when y'all were younger team umizumi had the main three millie bot and geo Side note here, not meaning anything racist, but does anybody else think Bot is black, Geo is Mexican, and Millie is just white? But uh, anyways, those three would be going around Umi City and Umi Car, stopping these treacherous villains like the Shape Bandit and his thievery and Little and Big Trouble. To be honest, I only remember the Shape Bandit, but bro was always stealing something from these little kids, like bro is in 47 with a wife and kids at home. But overall, Team Umizumi was by far my favorite in my earlier years. In second place is Bubble Guppies. Bubble Guppies has to be where most of y'all said no to racism and started liking those Latinas and black girls. Because Molly could really be either one. And some of y'all like Zuli. I don't know what the hell her name is. Me personally as a kid, I couldn't get over Una. Dog, she definitely gave me some type of type growing up. I'm just saying. But the absolute gas we heard as soon as we changed the channel from whatever bottom tier show was on before was just heat. I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted, so I can't play it, which is just sad. But we all know the Bubble Guppies, so let's just move on. Now for the last and final childhood show that I'm going to put on here, it's an overlooked classic, The Wonder Pets. To be honest, it tied with Blue's Clues, but everyone knows about that Blue Dog and Steve, plus it got ruined in the later years, but Wonder Pets was just all around a great show. It taught us morals, manners, and how not to be a sick individual, and much more. Plus, the theme was also just straight gas again. It's copyrighted, which sucks, but if an animal was in need of saving, then the Wonder Pets were on their way. Some honorable mentions though for the early childhood section are Blue's Clues, The Magic School Bus, Jacob Tutu, if you know you know, and Dino Dan. Now moving forward in time to when we were just a little bit older, hopefully, this is where we enter the best shows of all time era. And to start us off, we have the GOAT, Danny Phantom. 
Danny Phantom first aired in 2004, which I wasn't alive, but I did watch the entirety of Danny Phantom in my childhood and everything from the theme to plot to the baddies, everything was just perfect. I got my normal type from Bubble Guppies as a little kid, but as a child, Ember, Sam, and Danny Phantom, you know, the female version just struck something in me. First off, the theme was just perfect. Second off, Ember could get it any day of the week. Third off, Danny was putting those hands on these random deceased people just trying to die and roam around the earth peacefully. And lastly, that's really it. What else is there to be said about Sir Him, Danny Phantom? You're helping me? Well, duh. You've only been helping us for, like, ever. Hmm, Paulina Fenton. Hey, I finally wrapped my mind around it. Now we got the show where the art of jumping was established. Teen Titans. Now, some y'all really like Teen Titans Go more than the original. I put a poll up yesterday and 12% of y'all actually prefer Teen Titans Go over Teen Titans. Only question I have for that is why? Like the plot is garbage, the characters were mid, and they nursed Raven. The only good part about Teen Titans Go is that Robin was simply him. But the storyline of Teen Titans was just top tier with the plot twist and the best antagonist in cartoon history, Slade. It was just immeasurable. And let's be honest, you either watch Teen Titans for all of that, or you just watch it simply to see Blackfire and Raven. Now, Teen Titans is legendary, so talking about it even more is going to ruin it. So just go watch it for yourself and let's move on. Now for one of the greatest shows in human history, The Fairly Odd Parents. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna actually talk about the show or anything, cause Cosmo and the theme song, if you don't have The Fairly Odd Parents theme song memorized, like, what are you doing with your life? That's really just sad. I'm gonna be honest, that's all I have to say, cause Cosmo and the theme carried, so, also, I don't really care what any of y'all have to say about fucking Vicky. Vicky was bad. Vicky had seven-year-old me going crazy. Now, last but definitely not least, because there's way more than I can mention in one video, so I might have to do a part two, is a show that needs zero explanation, so I won't do one. Spongebob. Spongebob, everyone. Bye. Like and sub if you want to. It's 10K soon, hopefully. Already, thank you. Bye. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm in this video right here. Wait. 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 Wait.